your highnesses, excel excellencies. Um, when we launched the Partnership for Global Infrastructure and Investment just over a year ago, we committed to building better infrastructure for better future in low and middle income nations. We committed to cooperate with these nations in, with an equal, non predatory approach to create new opportunities and prosperity. Today is the launch of the new economic corridor between India and the Middle East and Europe goes precisely in this direction and is a milestone in strengthening global interconnections. And that is uh, why I want to thank uh, Prime Minister Modi, President Biden, and all the others, Ursula von der Leyen, and all the others who made it possible. For it's a very important thing. Um, and uh, this will scale up our economy's growth, opening enormous potential for mutual benefits in the business sector. Uh, obviously, Italy is ready to play a decisive role in this process. Also, through the unique expertise of Italian companies in the maritime and railway sector. Uh, and we want to contribute in building bridges between the Mediterranean and the Indo-Pacific also in the fields of energy and digital connectivity via Africa and the Arabian Gulf. In the energy sector, we came to work in different fields, including the production and transport of green hydrogen from the Middle East to the Mediterranean. We also support the European Commission on the Helmet Project, a high voltage submarine electricity interconnection that will link Italy to Tunisia. Uh, we are working to strengthen digital connections uh, critical for innovation and growth between the wider Mediterranean and Asia, through Rama. Uh, Raman, named after India's Nobel laureate in, in physics, Raman, will connect Europe with India and involves major companies such as Google and Tim Sparkle. However, we also are aware that there's still too much to be done to narrow the infrastructure gap with low and middle income nations. And this is why we will continue work on the partnership for global infrastructure and investment during the Italian G7 presidency next year. Thank you. Thank you to everybody.